Hi guys! Today I'm gonna be talking about religion in Japan. If you have been to Japan before or you have some communication opportunities with Japanese people on daily basis, you may have realized that we don't know much about our religion by ourselves. However, Japanese people were usually very much steeped in religious tradition, religious events that might make you a little bit confused. That is why I'd like to give you an overview what kind of religion, which religion there are in Japan as of today and how many people are practicing which religion. Before we start, this is kind of a sensitive topic. So um, I'm going to be explaining only the fact in Japan and my position is of course very neutral. So let's get started. So please see this presentation. First of all, let's have a look which religions are mostly practiced in Japan. Buddhism, which is originally born in India, then spread to China, then came to Japan. This picture is one of the most famous temples located in Kyoto. Next, Shinto. Shinto is born in Japan. So before Buddhism came here, Shinto was the only religion for Japanese people. A place regarded as holy for Shinto is shrine. Next, Christianity, which came to Japan around 16 centuries. There are of course Islam, Judaism, Hinduism, etc. I just picked up those which has played a role in Japan history, in Japanese history. Now please see this statistic. This data is from a survey done by NHK, a Japan's public broadcaster. According to this survey, 31% practices Buddhism, Shinto only 3%, Christianity 1%, and those who answered I don't practice any religion is 62%. So majority of Japanese people have no faith in religion. But now one question occurs, don't Japanese people visit neither shrine nor temple? No religious events or festivals are happening in Japan? I'll answer to this question with some statistic. This questionnaire is from Kokugakuin University and according to this, 72.6% do the first visit on New Year's Day. It's called Hatsumode in Japanese. This is very right to me, thousands of people visit shrine or temple from 1st to 3rd January to thank for being healthy or pray for your future success or whatever. You can't imagine how hectic and how crowded it is in shrines on New Year's days. Plenty of people are even waiting in front of the gate open and run the building where they can pray. And if you have a chance, please ask them which religion they practice. Most of them would say, oh, I don't know, uh, or none even though they make a long line for prey. Let me also introduce basic information about the two biggest religions in Japan. Left one is a shrine, so Shinto. The right one is a temple, so Buddhism. There are about 85k religious corporations for Shinto, and there are about 77k religious corporations for Buddhism. Believer of Shinto is 108 million. Believer of Buddhism is 87 million. Shinto has 128 sect. Buddhism has uh, 155 sect. Regarding annual visitor, I picked up one of the most popular shrine and temple, and both the shrine and temple have roughly 3 million visitors per year. Just one remark, uh, population in Japan is roughly 120 million and strangely, the sum of believers uh, is exceeding the Japanese population. This is because the number of believers is self-declaration by each religion. Therefore, this is not really accurate to be honest. But you know, this is just reference for you so that you can grasp the overview. 
But anyway, what I can conclude from these numbers are that Japan is very much steeped in religion based on these big numbers. And I think these two religions are quite even, so almost 50-50 at each point. And as far as I know, it is quite rare case that two biggest religions are almost equally coexisting in a country. And interestingly, if you ask Japanese people, do you practice any religion? Then 71% answers no. This is actually a different survey from the statistic I showed you before. I searched several surveys so that the information will be more accurate. So at the end, I want to summarize my presentation. Religion in Japan has lost its original meaning and became just a custom and habit. That is why roughly 70% of the people don't have faith in religion, but joining traditional events that originally come from religious actions. There are some backgrounds why Japan is like this. It has things to do with history of religion, social and industrial structure change, uh, but I'm gonna touch this point next time because it is also a very deep story and it takes time to explain it. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching until the end. And I hope you've got an overview about Japanese religion. It was very short and compact, but I think it was easy to understand. Yeah, uh, please don't hesitate to give us your feedback and also please don't uh, hesitate to subscribe to our channel if you like our contents. See you next time.